Hello and welcome to yet another episode of your favorite nautical program, the Master This Week, The Voice of Maritime. The Master This Week is brought to you by the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, the nation's sole authority when it comes to managing, regulating, and of course, promoting coastal and ocean-going activities. In other words, when you talk about shipping, you cannot fully have that conversation without Nimasa on the top of that list. As always, my name is Ubang Esien, and I will be your guide on this voyage. This is Princess Vicky Astro, the Executive Vice Chairman, CEO, ENL Consortium Limited, and you are watching Nimasa this week the voice of maritime. Stay tuned. <music> Welcome back, it's still Nimasa this week, the voice of maritime. And as always, we begin with our DG's diary. What has the Director General of Nimasa, Dr. Bashir Jamu, been up to? Well, this time round, is pursuing his literal state engagement agenda. An attempt to ensure that all literal states can come together and focus on developing their comparative maritime advantages. And this time, it was the turn of River State. You get to find out more on that and others on the DG's diary. Also on the program is our third documentary installment on the Deep Blue Project. And this time around, we're going platform to platform to explain to you out there what each of those assets is designed to accomplish as they come together to form an integrated force for protecting our waters, for managing and controlling coastal activities so that shipping can thrive and seafarers can be guaranteed of their safety as they go about doing their jobs. Remember, the IMO has declared seafarers as essential workers. You get to find out more on that on what we've titled the Deep Blue Special. And not forgetting, are other regulars as you've come to know the program for. So, I know you're ready, we are ready, so it's anchors away. Introducing the Nemasa Distress Response Call Lines for all maritime stakeholders, ship owners, seafarers, ship captains, whatever your challenge or distress in the Nigerian maritime domain, please call 0800-0685-167-0708-0005-956-0700-0700-010. If you can't reach us on these lines, please call 0700-0700-020-0700-0700-030. Also via VHF Radio Channel 16, Call and the massa will respond. Governor Yison Wiki of River State has applauded the management of Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, on the design of a blue economy strategy expected to replace the hydrocarbon economy. The governor said this while hosting the Director General of NIMASA, Dr. Bashu Jamo, at the River State Government House. Governor Wiki commended the NIMASA DG for the new initiative of harnessing ocean resources to serve as an alternative revenue source that will end the money economy status of Nigeria. Let me thank you as um, one of those who have looked to a future that Nigeria cannot continue 
to depend solely on one product, and that is oil. There comes a time that the wells will be dried, and when the wells are dried, what is the alternative? What will happen? Is it at that time we we'll begin to seek for an alternative? So you're on the right track by identifying that we should go for the blue economy by making sure that what are those things that we can do as an agency that will enhance the revenue and create a opportunity for employment for our people. And that we are calling us to keep it and look at the area they have comparative advantage. Speaking further, Governor Wiki pledged to partner with the agency in the area of human capital development and told them to consider adopting the government sea school, ISACA, as an institution to train seafarers. Earlier, the DG acknowledged Governor Wiki's efforts in rebuilding River State with tremendous investments in infrastructure, health, education, and the judiciary that have bettered the life of River's residents. Dr. Jamo said the agency's new thinking is in the direction of divesting the country's economy with its 10-year plan to develop maritime resources in the country. The agency commends the issue of blue economy to ensure that we have something that we fall back on. And that journey is supposed to be from today let us keep at least ourselves within the next 10 years we can be able to develop our ocean resources. Your Excellency, the wealth in our own waters and ocean cannot be quantified. Because of that, we decided to go around to the literal states. Among the 36 states in Nigeria, we have eight literal states, of which River State is the second state in the whole country. We have to create awareness of these resources and the potential benefit of these ocean resources, as well as encourage investment in this area. Then the massive bus urged the River State government to set up a committee to work with the agency in identifying its area of comparative advantage in harnessing its vast ocean resources. We are now going around to educate and encourage the state to formulate special committees that has to do with blue economy and come up with their own areas of comparative advantage so that it can be part of the nation policy in blue economy and we take care of. We have already moved to number of states, at least the river states is I think among the fifth state now and various state governments, they have indicated their own interest in terms of the areas they look at as their own comparative advantage. He further indicated the agency's willingness to sponsor 10 students from the state in its National Seafarers Development Program. I would like you to submit the names of uh, 10 secondary school leavers. We will sponsor them for three years. Uh, marine engineering, marine architecture uh, courses abroad, pre. The blue economy is the sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth. The Director General of the MASA, Dr. Bashiru Jamo, was at the ultra-modern office complex of the Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas, NLNG, in Port Harcourt River State. The DG was at the office to foster closer collaboration between both organizations and see how they can complement each other despite their seeming differences. Welcoming him, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer, Engineer Anthony Atta, said that the organization is a global entity that has achieved 100% indigenous capacity. 
Most importantly for Nigeria LNG, it's that partnership with Nigeria and it's about our vision of being a global player on the one hand, helping to build a better nation on the other. Everything in between is what we are about and that's why we, we exist here. Uh, we are very proud of our brand. I'm sure you are of yours. Uh, but if you were having this meeting 20 years ago, there will be two Igbo men meeting you. But today, by the grace of God, we are 100% Nigerian-led company. Responding, the DG of Namasa thanks the management for receiving him at such short notice and praise them for the sustainability of the NLNG project and its development over the years. In the history of Nigeria, we have seen so many organizations, you know, having a very laudable uh, uh, direction. And at the end of the day, they drip in within a uh, uh, few decades. But today, in energy, this one is a history. We have seen the sustainability. We have seen a lot of... Uh, uh, development and progress in the LNG. Part of it is this edifice that we are seeing now. And then uh, the LNG becoming uh, one of the most African popular brands. Uh, so that ca we cannot take it away from LNG. So uh, anybody who has his conscience is something that you can help uh, to see the progress, development and the sustainability of that particular organization. So in so do doing, we decided to be part and parcel of the success by collaborating and trying to dialogue from time to time and see how we can be able to overcome some of the challenges that we are having. Dr. Jamo went further to touch on the issue of flag and ship registration for NLNG vessels and also the efforts the agency is putting in place to address maritime insecurity. When we get to a certain level, we'll come and approach you. Even if it's one, we've got to register the tonnage we register, I think we will have a say in the International Maritime Organization. We are unable to move ahead because of the uh, tremendous challenges of our own economy, tremendous challenges in terms of the issue of uh, insecurity and other things. Uh, as I said, we are putting so many measures in place to address the gap. The issue of insecurity, we are just completing our own deep blue project and uh, it's taking off uh, in June. We initially wanted to uh, plug off uh, the, the, the project uh, 21st of May, but because of the absence of Mr. President, we decided to wait until he comes back, we get another date. So uh, from all the fillers we are receiving, we will be able to get the date in June. Then the Massa boss sought the cooperation of the company in the area of flag states use of the modular floating dock and search and rescue operations. At the end of the visit, both parties saw the need to continue to have a roundtable discussion over a number of issues germane to both organizations. The coalition of Niger Delta youth leaders was at the agency headquarters to honor the Director General of the Massa, Dr. Bashiru Jamo, as their national patron. Speaking at the presentation ceremony, the national leader and president of the coalition, Comrade Adokie Mujiton, said that though Dr. Jamo is not from the Niger Delta, but he lived there and schooled there and has contributed immensely to the development of the region. Receiving the award on behalf of the DJ Namasa, Mr. Olayemi Abbas, Director of Maritime Labor Services, thanked the youth leaders for the honor and assured the youths of the agency's continued support, training and development of the Niger Delta youths. On behalf of the Director General, Dr. Bashir Yusuf Jam, I want to thank you for counting him and indeed the master worthy of this honor. The youth leaders also declared their readiness to assist and cooperate with NEMASA in partnership with security agencies in the area of intelligence gathering, search and rescue, as well as support for other agency programs. My name is Margaret Orapuse, Chairman, Ship Owners Forum of Nigeria, a fisher woman, and I will tell you, if you really want to learn much about the maritime sector, the opportunities therein for you to come in and uh, either educate yourself or invest in, try watching Nimasa this week. This is the voice of maritime. Stay
the masses deep blue, calmer coast and safer seas. Security is priority. The Integrated National Maritime Surveillance and Security Infrastructure Coming soon Powered by NEMASA The Integrated National Security and Waterways Protection Infrastructure in Nigeria, also known as the Deep Blue Project, is to enable NEMASA with the capacity and capabilities of enforcing and regulating the maritime domain in terms of security. The Deep Blue Project is the cooperation between the Ministry of Transportation and the Ministry of Defense. This placed NEMASA as representative of the Ministry of Transportation, while the security agencies are the representatives of the Ministry of Defense, namely the Navy, the Army, the Air Force, the police, and the DSS. The role of the NEMASA is to finance and maintain the assets while the security agencies are to run the assets. The assets in the project are two special mission vessels. The special mission vessels are always at sea taking evidence and data of all types of illegal activities, checking the vessels that are coming into the country, dumping of toxic waste, illegal fishing, smuggling, and all bunkering. The special mission helicopter and the unmanned aerial vehicles can be launched from their platforms. 17 Fast Interceptor Boats The fast-moving interceptor boats are used for interdiction operations. They are swift in pursuing and arresting criminals at sea, stopping and taking control of all illegal activities. Weighing 6.5 tons each, flying at 5 knots, there is no threat on water it cannot reach. Two Special Mission Aircrafts the Special Mission Aircraft performs the same functions as the Special Mission Vessels in the airspace. They are designed to go the distance in surveillance from coast to coast, taking evidence from the air. They are fitted with intelligent systems to take pictures day and night of criminal activities and forward them to the C4I Center for appropriate action. Three Special Mission Helicopters The Special Mission Helicopters execute different kinds of operations, including search and rescue, and special operations enforcement. They serve both security surveillance, search and rescue functions to enable NEMASA to meet the IMO requirement of true maritime administration. Four unmanned aerial vehicles. The unmanned aerial vehicles ensure that there is a sustainable round-the-clock surveillance system from the sky furnishing real-time information for timely action to keep our waters safe. Two of the manned aerial vehicles are on the vessels and the other two are on the armored vehicles to be deployed for any kind of operation, especially illegal activities, both on land and on the sea. They're capable of taking evidence from far distance up to 100 km. 16 Armored Vehicles The armored vehicles all connected to the C4I Center, communicating and sending different kinds of information and intelligence to the C4I. They are rugged and specially built to assess the creeks and difficult terrains to smoke out criminals and criminal activities. Human Forces There are over 600 personnel to operate these assets, with 340 of them in the Maritime Special Unit drawn from the different security agencies, well trained and equipped to execute any kind of special operations. The Maritime Special Unit represents the crucial human element of the entire architecture, given their expected interdictory role of tackling piracy and protecting our seafarers. C4I Center This is the brain and the heart of the Deep Blue Project. It can see, monitor and record all operational activities to give order to the Deep Blue assets with all the security agencies working in a collaborative and complementary manner. It is important to emphasize that progress has been made on the integration of the surveillance system of NEMASA's C4I, the MPA C3I, and the Navy's Falcon Eye for proper integration, better coordination, and response. The key to the success of the project is the cooperation between all the security agencies and NEMASA.
the masses deep blue, calmer coast and safer seas. Security is priority. The integrated national maritime surveillance and security infrastructure. Coming soon. Powered by NEMASA. Introducing the Nemasa Distress Response Call Lines for all maritime stakeholders, ship owners, seafarers, ship captains, whatever your challenge or distress in the Nigerian maritime domain, please call 0800-0685-167-0708-0005-956-0700-0700-010. If you can't reach us on these lines, please call. 0700-0700-020-0700-0700-030. Also via VHF Radio Channel 16. Call and the master will respond. Welcome back. It's still the master this week, the voice of maritime. Of course, it's time for us to read from the DG's Twitter handle, at Jamo Bashir. And this time round, the DG is reflecting on the gains of his visit to the governor of River State to engage the people of Rivers to exploit their comparative maritime advantages. And they do have a lot. Hashtag Littoral States. It was indeed a great honor to meet with His Excellency at Governor Wiki in our continuing efforts to engage the literal states of Nigeria towards joining NIMASA to develop our collective maritime assets. Rivers is home to many nautical operations. Thank you, Governor Wiki, for your support. And you can continue this conversation with the DG at his Twitter handle, at Jamo Bashir. And you can also extend the conversation to all of our NIMASA official social media platforms on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Now, on the official business side of things, you will find on the NIMASA website a plethora of services that the agency renders, from legal support to cabotage to the ISPS, all of these and much more will guide you as you strive to build your business in the Nigerian maritime ecosystem. enjoyed today's episode of Nimasa This Week, The Voice of Maritime, and that you will join the agency on this very vital journey to explore our coasts, to explore our oceans, and of course, to make the most of our status as a nautical nation. And one way you can do that is to heed to this famous nautical advice that nothing suits the soul like a day by the ocean. As a nation, Nigeria has an entire expanse 
of coastal corridor from Lagos straight down to Bayelsa. So, stay the course as I bid you farewell. My name is Ubang Esien. See you next time.